Hi you guys, it's Kristen. Welcome back for another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some clay color recipes using some of the simple primary colors, some of the ones that are easier to get your hands on. We are still facing the polymer clay shortage, and so uh, especially for those who do this for a living, um, who make polymer clay earrings for a living, I thought it would be helpful to share some color recipes that use just some of the primary colors, ones that are easy to get your hands on today. So I thought it would be helpful for you. So that's what I'm gonna do. I just have my, all these are Primo colors, and I have the fuchsia, the cobalt blue, cadmium red, cadmium yellow, and then the white. And I have, of course, my acrylic roller and my pasta machine. And then I'll just be using a couple of different shapes to cut my clay pieces out. And I will show you exactly how all that works. So let's get right into it. The first step is that we need to condition all of this clay. If only it were that easy in real life. All right, so the next step is going to be to cut out our clay pieces. So the way that this works, to do color mixing and to follow a color recipe, you need to have all your pieces the same like the same depth. So I roll mine out on the, the thickest setting on my pasta machine, which is number seven on the one that I have. And so I make sure all of them are fully conditioned and rolled out to that thickest setting on the pasta machine. The next thing you're going to need are just some cutters. So I like to use either circles or squares to cut these. You want something that will be easy to then cut into you know fractions. So if you're gonna use a half, then you would cut a circle and then cut this in half and then use the half circle. Or if you're gonna use a quarter or an eighth or whatever it is, whatever the recipe calls for, which I'm gonna give you all of those details in this video. But I just wanna make sure you understand how it works. So. If you're going to be making a lot of clay, then maybe you want a larger cutter like this or even larger. I have a really large circle uh, that I use sometimes if I'm trying to make like a ton of each one. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to just be keeping it small. Um, and so I'll either be using this little circle cutter or sometimes I even use this when I'm, you know, trialing color recipes and I don't want to make, you know, a massive amount of clay and then have it potentially not turn out, if that makes sense. So that's how it works. You're gonna use whatever shape and size that you choose, you're gonna use that to, to cut every color that you need for the color recipe so it's all consistent. So for this first color, we're gonna be making kind of like a cranberry color. Uh, some of these recipes might use a little bit of black as well. Um, we'll kind of see as we go but um, black is pretty easy to get, get your hands on these days. So we're gonna be using cobalt and cadmium, cadmium red for this kind of cranberry wine color. So we are going to be doing two parts cadmium red, and then we're going to do half part cobalt blue. So here's where I'll show you how you get the half part I sell color recipes in my Etsy shop and a lot of people have questions about this. They don't understand how this works. Um, so this will also be helpful to have in video form. <laughs> that was not, I did not cut that very well because I can't see. I'm gonna cut it this way. So basically just cut it in half and that is going to be your half piece. Just like that. Okay, so we're gonna add that there. And these colors mixed together is gonna give us our pretty like cranberry. So I like to start just by pressing between my fingers for a little bit, just to kind of get it a little incorporated. And then I will pop it through the pasta machine as many times as it takes until the color is achieved. All right, so here is the color that we ended up with. As you can see, it's a really rich, deep red and if you wanted to lighten this color up you could add a little bit of white i would start with maybe like a quarter of a piece of white if you wanted to make it darker you could add a little bit of black you could add more red to it if you wanted to just kind of deepen those red tones a little bit so you can play with it but this is our beautiful kind of cranberry wine color for fall 
So just for fun, I added a quarter of a part of white here. And so this is what it looks like now. I really like this color. I think it lightened it up enough. I felt like before it was kind of too rich and dark and hard to kind of make out that it was like a deep wine color, but I feel like this kind of lightened it up enough to where you can really tell. So that's the beauty of mixing your own clay colors is you can play with it and make it whatever you want. So I thought that that one was a little bit too dark. So here's another option, add a quarter piece of white and you have this lighter kind of Merlot wine color. This next one, we're going for kind of like a mustardy yellow color. We're gonna do two parts yellow. We're gonna do a little bit of blue, maybe like a quarter or an eighth of the blue. And then we're gonna do half fuchsia and then two parts of the white. And if you would like these clay color recipes in written form rather than just seeing them on the video only, I will have a link to a blog post down below where I will have all of these color recipes written out for you so you can print it out and just make it super simple. To cut the blue, I'm gonna start with an eighth and then we'll play with it and see what we think. Cut it into quarters and then cut across just like that. And then you have your eighth piece. Let's start with that and then we'll add it if we feel like, we'll add more if we feel like it needs it. So here it is with the original colors that I just told you after we put it through the pasta machine. Now I'm happy with this. Um, it's kind of like a tan color. I think I wanna bring out the yellow just a little bit more. So I'm gonna add in half part yellow to this and let's see if that just kind of like brightens it up a little bit. I would call this almost like a khaki tan color, uh, but let's add a little yellow and see what happens. So here it is with just a little extra yellow and I really like the way that turned out. It's definitely more of a muted mustard color, not super bright, but that is what I was going for. So here are our two parts so far in our fall color palette. So just a reminder, this one was two and a half yellow, one eighth cobalt, half fuchsia, and two white. All right, let's move on to a pretty like orange color, kind of burnt orange or umber. Um, and we're gonna be using um, five parts of the yellow. We're gonna use a quarter part of the blue, which we've already cut before. And then we're gonna do a little bit of the red. Let's do one part red. And get those all mixed up. So here's where we are with kind of the burnt orange color. I would say it definitely has more of a brown than orange. So what I'm gonna do is add half yellow and half red, and we'll see where that gets us. And part of the reason that I'm kind of doing this on the fly with you guys is to show you how I go about creating my color recipe so then you can do the same thing at home. If you have a color that's not what you had envisioned, um, you know, I just wanna show you a little bit of how you can change that. You know, you don't have to scrap the whole thing. You can add more colors to it to try to bring out more of those tones and things that you're looking for. So let's see how this does. So here we are after adding that half yellow and half red. I think this is perfect and exactly the color that I was looking for. So you can kind of see it next to our other colors as we build our fall palette. Aren't those pretty? So nice. All right, next we're gonna go for a green color in our palette. So we're gonna start with some blue and some yellow and fuchsia and some white. All right, so we are going to do two white, one fuchsia. Let's do 
one and a quarter blue. So I already have this one quartered up there. And then for the yellow, we're going to do, we're going to start with one yellow and let's see how that goes. So this is turning out way lighter than what I would like. I was hoping for more like a rich color. So um, I'm going to add another part blue and another part yellow and get that all mixed in and let's see if that helps bring out more of the green. So here's where we are now with the green, which I'm really happy with. Let's compare it with our palette. I feel like it could be a richer green. What do you think? I think it could be like a darker color. So because of that, I'm going to show you what adding a little bit of black does to a color. So let's add, I don't even think I'm gonna measure. I think I'm just gonna take off a little pinch. Let's try that much black and let's see what it does. Look what that did. That made a big difference. Hopefully you can see it. I feel like the camera is making it look a little lighter than it is. Let's compare it with our other pieces and see what we think. I think it's coming together quite nicely. I think we need like an off white, kind of like a creamy brown color. So let's work on that. All right, for this next color, I said I wanted to do kind of like a creamy white tan color. I think that would be a nice complement to our other colors that we have in the palette. So in order to do that, if you have brown, then I would just mix white and brown together, mostly white, like something like five parts white to like a quarter or an eighth part brown. But if you don't have brown, and because in this video I said I wanted to use the primary colors, I'm gonna show you how to make your own brown. So to create brown with primary colors, you need to mix two complementary colors in equal amounts. So something like red and green. Well, we don't have green, so we need to make green ourselves. So simple enough, you're gonna take, I'm just gonna use a little bit because I'm not gonna make much of this brown. So I'm gonna do the small end of my little tiny circle cutter and do one part yellow, one part blue, and this is gonna give us the green color that we need, and then we're gonna mix this green one for one with reds. So we're gonna cut out another piece and we're gonna use that red to mix with our uh, green and then that's how we are going to get our brown. Alright, so here's our green. Wasn't that easy? So simple. So then we're just going to take our green and because we mixed two parts to make this green, I'm just going to go ahead and cut out to make sure, you know, we get the right, the right amounts here. So we're going to mix the red and green together and we're going to get brown and then we're going to mix in our brown with our white to give us a nice pretty color. All right, so here is our muddy brown color that we made. So now you know how to make brown or make green if you need to. Um, all right, let's do something like five parts white. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of brown. Um, Let's start with like, just a, I'm doing a half of this tiny cutter. Let's just start with that because you can always add more, but you can't always take it back. So let's do that and see what happens. All right, so here's where we are. I did add an extra, I did two whole little circles of the brown to get this color. So if you're looking for something deeper or richer, you can add more brown. You could also add parts of another color that you've already mixed. So like this nice kind of mustardy yellow, you could cut off a little corner of this and add it to it if you wanna deepen it a little bit and give it more of like a yellow undertone. So here is our kind of off white creamy brown color. And here it is with all the colors in our palette. My, I'm losing my sunlight here. Hopefully you can see pretty well. 
So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I am working on restocking my kind of beginner's polymer clay kit in my Etsy shop. I should have some uh, restocked within the next week. So I'll have a link down below. Keep checking there if you're looking for clay. It includes clay and some other basics that you need to get started with making polymer clay. But it does include all the colors uh, that I used today except for the black. Like I mentioned, black is really easy to get your hands on. It's these other primary colors that are more difficult. But if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I'm hoping to be coming out with some new polymer clay videos for you here. And I'm excited you're here and looking forward to sharing more with you. All right, have a great day, bye.